Hi, this is Meghnath. In this video, we're going to learn about factorial of a given number. So we will write C program to read a number and print factorial of it. Now factorial is the product of a number from 1 to n. So if you are entering a number 5, factorial of 5 is 5 into 4 which is 20, 20 into 3 is 60, 62 is 120, and 120 into 1 is 120. So factorial of a given number is a product of 1 to itself. Let's take, you are giving an input number 4. So factorial of 4 is 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. So factorial of 4, the answer will be 4 3 is 12, 12 2 is 24, 24 1 is 24, so factorial 4 is 24. So now we are going to write C program to read a number from user and print its factorial. So now let's get started. And remember, the editor or software that you can use can be any editor which supports C language. Either it can be Turbo C editor, Dev C++ editor, or Visual Studio Community Edition, or any other of your choice, right? So let's get started. I'm going to use Visual Studio Community Edition, which is free from Microsoft. Let's get started. Now file, new, project and I'm going to select Win32 console application and I'm going to give the name of the project as factorial number so I can give any name so I'm giving factorial number and click OK and click next and I just want to remove this click on finish now I will be writing the program which you can write in your own editor so let me delete this now let's get started as usual, the first two lines are include stdio.h, header file for printf and scanf, or include conio.h, header file for getch, and I always used to write these two lines, author, I'm going to write my name, and purpose, so the purpose of this program is, so to, to read a number, to read a number and print its factorial. Okay, now let's get started. Void main. And the first program execution starts at void main or main method. And now you have to write here, now you have to write first step is variable declaration. Now I need to read a number from the user, right? So for that I need input. And I have to loop through from number one to itself. So I need a variable for looping. And I need a number for storing the consecutive products which I will explain you so I'm going to put fact equal to 1 so these are the three variables and then next we need to write read the data from user read data from user so so let's read so I want to write printf printf I'm going to write enter any number so this message will be seen by the user and we need to use canf for reading some value from the user Scan of percent D for integer, comma ampersand input. So we are reading the use number from the user. Now I need to write the actual logic. So here I need to write first thing is for loop. For I I need to loop from one i less than or equal to n or i mean input i plus plus. And then what I have to write here is I am going to write fact is equal to fact star i. So now I will explain this logic for you. So now first time when, let me um, zoom this a little bit. Now for the first time I value, when this loop gets executed for the first time, I value will be one. And then it will check for one, one less than or equal to five. And then it will come inside and I initialize fact value to one, one into I value is one. So this value will be assigned to fact. So fact value is one and then it becomes i plus plus, i value becomes 2, 2 less than or equal to 5, condition satisfies, and now already fact value is 1, so this will multiply again with i, so that is 2, now fact value becomes 2, and now i value becomes 3, 3 less than or equal to 5, condition satisfied, so already fact value is 2, 2 into now current i value is 3, now this will be assigned to fact, that is 6, now i value becomes 4, and 6 into 4, fact value becomes 24, I value becomes 5, already fact value is 24, 24 into 5 which is 120 and then I value becomes 6, 
6 less than or equal to 5 condition fails and that's it so fact value will become 120 right so like this we are storing each and every consecutive number and we are storing into fact and fact value will be continuously increasing as a product of the next number right so this is the logic to print to find factorial of a given number and now what we will do is we need to print the value so print the result and how do we print it print f i'm going to write factorial of person d is person d and in case of first person d i need to print input in case of second person d i want to print fact and that's it as always we need to use get ch right so we're done with the program so let's run this program and let's see whether we get the output right let's run this now you can see here enter any number I'm going to enter 5 you can see factor of 5 is 120 and you can run this once again and you can see here I'm going to put enter in number 4 you will see the output as 24 right so now like this we need to write factorial logic hope you understood it so don't remember to subscribe so please do subscribe for more videos sorry don't forget to subscribe okay thank you